guys, um, as you all know, the purpose of this channel uh, is to help both business leaders and data scientists or data professionals in general actually drive business value with data. And one of those uh, key ways to actually do that is through uh, building the right business metric, uh, analyzing that and tracking that over time. Okay, so the so so today's session uh, is going to be about how to develop uh, and implement business metrics that matter. How to develop and implement business metrics that matter. So uh, to start what what is a business metric or what are business metrics um in simple words business metrics are just ways of quantifying business performance uh, or business yeah essentially quantifying business performance across different uh, business processes and strategies uh, to understand how we are actually working towards reaching our goals or how we are tracking uh, against our goals right so that is business metric a way to actually quantify uh, you know business performance uh, you know for example maybe you are a, a product manager and you build a product uh, you may want to understand product adoption so you know are people actually using the product or you may want to understand something like you know active users of the product okay so that is a business metric um another business metric could be you know how many customers are, are downloading your app or how many customers you have making a purchase uh, every single day so number of customers number of app downloads those are all uh, business metric okay now why is business metric important or wh why should we care about business metrics well the short answer to that is if you cannot measure then you cannot manage or if you cannot measure you really cannot uh, you know improve right and so business metrics are very important uh, number one to help us actually track business performance okay it will help us really understand what is going on in our business uh, you know is something good or bad going on you know for example let's say you actually run a marketing campaign uh, you know like a social media campaign and you know one of the things you want to understand is that okay how many people did this media campaign reach how many people actually uh, you know view uh, you know this 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 campaign so in that case you're actually tracking a business process in this case marketing campaign on, on social media you want to understand how many people click on the ad you know what is the reach so you know one of the key reasons why business metrics are important is for tracking purposes okay so be because without metric you cannot even track what you are doing you can invest a lot of business uh, you can invest a lot of money uh, into a business process but then there's no way to know uh, you know how that is doing so that's that's number one uh, number two is really uh, to allow you to communicate your business strategy and goals to your stakeholders you see you cannot just say oh yeah one of my goals is to uh, acquire more customers okay what does that mean right so well instead of saying that acquire more customers you can say i would like to increase my new customer count by 10 percent okay think about that so now you are more specific people will actually listen to you and you are giving them something to work against you want to increase your new customer base by 10% or by 15%, right? So one of the reasons why business metrics are important is that they help you communicate your business goals and strategies uh, more effectively and drive alignment and get people to actually rally around your business goal and also also inspired to actually uh, you know achieve those goals so so number one i said it's good for tracking number two is good for uh, communicating business goals number three is benchmarking okay business metrics are actually very important for benchmarking so usually one of the things that we do as data folks is to understand how are we performing against the industry benchmark now i know that that that's a big a big topic on this one because you know benchmarks can be something else you know maybe they are not you know they are not apple to apple we know that they are not apples to apples uh you know we know all of that however benchmarking is one of the key 
reasons why business metrics are good. You know, if you are in your house and you know you build a product and you have 10,000 people using it, you may be thinking that oh yeah, this is so great. But when you go out and say oh no, people who build the same similar product within one month uh, of build or within one month of launch, uh, you know, it's used by one million people. Then you'll be thinking okay, then my product is not good enough, right? So now, business metrics actually help you to benchmark your own performance against your competitors uh you know usually working with you know consultants who who actually can get data about different competitors that are like you and then compare some of your business metrics against them will will let you assess yourself to to just understand uh, you know how you know your business is doing okay so so number one for tracking uh, you know to communicate your goals and also for benchmarking and essentially business metrics are important for continuous monitoring and continuous learning and really for optimization right with that business metric even if something bad is going on in your business you may not even know so for example let's say you you have a mobile app that you you built and you know usually you see about thousand people using that uh, you know mobile app on a on daily basis and one particular day you wake up and you realize that you know only 10 people are using the application that that will actually give you some sense of like okay what might be going on is is something failing is my app not working so that's a normally detection right so basically uh metrics help you really monitor your business so that if something is going wrong you will know okay it also helps you actually analyze your business by various segments so for example your metric might be good in one region but not the other region then you go and focus on what is actually happening in that particular uh, region right so basically the root of any data analysis is metric right you know whether you are doing descriptive type of analysis whether you are doing diagnostic type of analysis you know where you actually understand why is this metric going up or down you know or even you want to predict you want to forecast it all comes down to what business metric no i know that we data folks you know we like to talk about all those like really big metric statistically like oh yeah you know r squared for measuring regression uh, you know you know recall f statistics uh, you know things like you know uh, you know accuracy you know those things are very important you know correlation coefficient p value all of those things are important but guys listen to me when we are talking about business and actually unlocking business value with data we must understand business metric the things that are driving the business goals okay which is why i really want to discuss uh, you know this business metric idea and this is the first video i will add several other you know things about business metric including you know how to formulate the right business metric uh, you know how to truly uh, think about uh, you know coming up with the right metric based on you know your own business case but guys business metrics are important and they're important for several reasons for really for continuous monitoring measuring optimizing your business you know for tracking uh, you know for you to communicate your your business goals and also for you to actually benchmark against your your competition okay now let's talk about uh, you know some of the major types of uh, business metric because it ca it can be a lot but I'm going to talk to you about some uh, major major types of uh, business metric okay stay with me